Hello everybody and welcome back to more Dark Souls. I am the Wayfaring Pilgrim. When we last left off, we died quite a few times. Not ashamed to admit it. We went into Dark Root Garden to take on the Moonlight Butterfly and I think we died five times in the space of half an hour. So yeah, that was fun. And then when we went down to Dark Root Basin, we managed to redeem ourselves a little bit. We defeated our first real Black Knight, we took on Haval, and we defeated the Hydra of Dark Root Basin without any deaths. So, it was really a session of two halves there. What we're going to do in this session though, is we're going to do a bit of a Broken Biscuit session. We're going to take on the two Black Knights that we left behind. We're going to take on that dragon that's guarding Undead Parish. And then if we have time... We'll head down to Firelink Shrine because we have a few things we can collect there. And we can go down to, I think the area is called New Londo. So without any further ado, let's go and uh, take down our first Black Knight, which is down here. Now if you're wondering why I'm starting here in Undeadburg, I basically um, decided to take out all the enemies in Undeadburg before I started the session. Because... You guys have seen that before. You don't need to see it again. So, yeah. I decided to save you that. Oh, that didn't work. I tried to backstab him. So we're just going to get this Black Knight to chase us. The Black Knights are faster than us, though. I need to get unlocked. I need to sprint. I need to learn how to play this game again because I haven't played in a little while. Here he comes, and he's going to run. No? What are you doing? Get around here. Yeah, this game does not punish you for being cheap. So we're going to be a little bit cheap here. There we go. Wow. That did no damage to him as well. Ah. Oh, he's cornered me in this house. Okay, let's just try and get round him. Come back out here. I need you out in the open. There we go. Nice and easy. Tight night chunk for the win. Which reminds me, actually, I need to show you guys um, the types of Titanite that I've got and the stuff that I picked up last session. I didn't show you off that stuff. But we'll do that when we get to the uh, bonfire. We're going to go to a bonfire now anyway, I think. Well, actually, we can take on the second Black Knight first. So if we go up here to the top of this spirally staircase... And across here where the tourist demon was. We have people shooting at us, let's just run. So, that first battle went well. I didn't pick up something which I should have picked up. Why didn't I pick it up? I have no idea. There was another ring I could have picked up. Yeah, we'll go back and get it. Right, we're not going to take on a dragon yet, but what we are going to do is we're going to try and charm this dragon out. Probably going to get burned. Yeah, a little bit. But at least we've got no enemies now. And then what we're going to do, we're just going to sprint. We're just going to go for it. And no dramas there. Right, so. We need to go this way, don't we? Come on, then. Bring it on. I can take all of you down in one hit. I don't mind showing this little bit off. Because it's not... What are you doing? It's not... That far to the next... Black Knight. However, this guy's making it very difficult. 
I need to do this quickly because he keeps glitching out. As always, we can't underestimate the rats. Come on then. Any humanity off these rats? No, of course not. That would be making the game far too easy. So this Black Knight is probably the hardest one of the lot because you can't be cheap with this guy. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take on this guy here just so if he does chase us down here we won't have that guy coming after us. See if we can be aware of tough enemy. See if we can sneak up behind this guy and give him a backstab. He is difficult to sneak up on though. Sneak up on rather. And not get my words out today, as always. It wouldn't be a recording session, would it? Damn it, again. That's the attack you'll look for. He tries to, you know, move his sword along the ground. I fall down. No, you're not blocking me. You're going to do your weird sword attack. That's what we want. Oh my god! I survived. I actually survived. How did I survive that? Oh, that is just what you want. Well, it's, it's a good thing, actually, that we fell down here. Sorry, that we took out this guy when we fell down here. Got a Black Knight shield as well, another Titanite chunk. That is a result right there. Oh, say what you want. I'm falling off every cliff right now. Got to stop doing that. Especially this one, because this will lead to my death. I honestly thought I was going to die there. Honestly thought I was going to die. Don't know how I survived. Don't ask me how I survived, I have no idea. Okay. So let's head back down here and I'll show off that Titanite that I got. Just rest at the wrong fire. It's all good. And let's have a look at my stuff. Okay, so what did I pick up last time out? So, um, as you can see, I've equipped the grass crest shield. So we'll have a look at that. We'll have a look at that. There we go. So pretty good in terms of physical defense 95% next to 100 but look at those magic defenses 12 better on magic 10 better on fire 10 better on lightning a little less stability a little more weight same durability though it looks like and a little less physical attack but it's a very very good shield to defend you against magic let's have a little look at this Black Knight Shield, though, in comparison to the Knight Shield. Is that any good? Right, so, yeah, the magic defense isn't great. But fire, lightning, defense, stability, durability, a little more weight, physical attack, physical defense is the same very difficult to make a decision on that one. Honestly, I don't know. I think possibly. Then again, I think that might be the better all-round one. Let's have a little look. The fire defense is 95, lightning is 65. Oh wow, that fire defense is massive, isn't it? The lightning defense is pretty massive as well. Let's go with that then. 
we'll go with that. Um, yeah, Ringer picked up that session as well. I'll just show it off. Grants extra sorcery castings, but halves HP. That's what the Dusk Crown Ring does. And then finally, the Titanite that we picked up. Um, here, so Titanite Shards, reinforced standard weapons, nothing special there. Titanite Chunks though, you can um, reinforce standard weapons up to plus 14, but you can also reinforce crystal and lightning weapons. Pretty nice. Blue Titanite Chunks. Reinforce magic weapons to plus nine. Reinforce enchanted weapons to plus four. I don't really get the difference there. I mean, isn't an enchanted item a magic item? But whatever. Twinkling Titanite can reinforce weapons that are not reinforced normally. Right. Okay. That makes very little sense. But okay. Demon Titanite. Reinforce weapons born from special souls. So that soul of the moonlight butterfly that we got last session. You can make a weapon from that. That's why I'm not using it. And I think that's all the titanite. And I think that's everything we picked up last session. So what we're going to do next is we're going to have to go through Undead Berg again. So I will meet you back at the place where we defeated the Black Knight. See you in... A few moments for you guys. And we're back. Okay, so the item I forgot to pick up is right down here. I believe it's a ring of some description. Yep, the blue tear stone ring. I'm not sure what that does. I can't remember. I think it's another one of those rings that's good if you are um, a sorcerer. Let's have a little look. Uh, boost defense while HP is low. So... Is it that good? Not really, honestly. I think you get more from the Tiny Beings ring, honestly. Um, you know, it doesn't say how low your HP has to be. It doesn't say how much it boosts defense by. It doesn't really tell you anything. And it doesn't really say what it will do for you. So I'm going to stick with the Tiny Beings ring. And there's also uh, some armor that I forgot to look at. I don't know if I've got it in my items. I haven't. Um, I believe it was the Elite Knight stuff, wasn't it? Um, you guys didn't miss much on that armour. It's not as good as the Elite Knight stuff, so... Yeah, you guys didn't miss much on that. So, we've taken on two Black Knights and got our rewards. So, I think our next thing to do... Should be the Dragon. Or the Drake, or whatever you want to call it. I have been using the words Dragon and Drake interchangeably. There is a difference between them, but... It's a fire-breathing dragon, okay? So let's sprint across here. And what you need to do to take on the Drake... Well, there's two ways of doing it. You could do it the slow way, which is the way I'm going to do it. Or you could do it the high risk way. Now the high risk way is basically going for it, gung ho, and just try and take it down with the Drake Sword. Drake is not invincible. Okay? This dragon is not invincible without its tail. Spoiler alert for how you defeat it the slow way. But the slow way of doing it, and in my view the best way of doing it, is taking out its tail first. Because with its tail, the drake can regenerate its health. And it regenerates its health quite quickly. So it's probably worth... Wow, the fire reached there. Okay. Um, yeah, so the... The uh, Drake regenerates his health quite quickly, so I would just go with doing what you can on its tail, getting that out of the way. Come on then, bring it. Had your defence down, buddy. What have you got? 
And the warrior shield, they're actually quite good as well. Let's have a little look actually at that shield. Because that's pretty good as well from what I remember. Uh, toggle display. Worse than the Black Knight shield in almost every way there. A little bit like the Knight shield again. So, do you remember how we uh, take down the tail? You draw your weapon, you go into first person mode, and you target the tail. And just in case you haven't seen me get the Drake Sword yet, I'm just going to show you once how to shoot the tail off. So you wait until the tail hits the edge of the reticle, and you miss. That's what you do. Okay, I don't know what was going on there. Must have been in the wrong slot or something. Right, let's try that again. So, tail hits the edge of the reticle. Hit it. There you go. Finally, managed to show that off. So I will meet you guys when I, once again, remove this thing's tail. And there we go. Tail dealt with, and we took uh, 10 shots as well, and that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do that. Go back to the Drake Sword, and let's go and take on this bad boy. I don't know if this thing is weak to anything. I'm just going to go and fight it vanilla style. Um, so what we need to do is we need to get the dragon to come down here first of all. Now how do you do that? Well, you get your bow out and you shoot at this dragon. And it only does like 10 damage. Okay, just going to let the dragon go back to Oh jeez, okay Just going to let it do that Don't worry, it won't regenerate its health here because Are you quite done? Okay, let's just Oh, for God's sake, why is it doing this? See, the tutorial that I saw... Okay, I'm going to take it off this here. Flowing back onto its perch now. You done? You done? You sure? Right, so that's how you do it. You have to go quite a way away from the dragon and just wait. I did a silly thing there. Don't know if I can get some hits off on it now, really. Right, let's just wait for it. So you have to basically sometimes use hit and run tactics. There we go, it's going back to its perch again. I don't know how many health this thing has, but we'll see. there and I'm going to run down here. So it is quite a tedious boss fight but what can you do? So I think what I'll do is I'll skip to where I beat this dragon because this battle is getting 
a little bit boring now.